So we've got four pictures here that I'm going to leave in the description that you can use yourself for having a little play with Portrait Pro. And I'm just going to show the process I would use from Lightroom into Photoshop and then using it as a plugin to do my edit. Now, like I said, you, you can, you're welcome to have a play with these pictures yourself. And don't forget, you can use Portrait Pro as a standalone program as well as a Portrait Pro plugin for Photoshop. So we've had a little bit of sharpening to this picture. Now we've got this girl here. She's got no makeup on, very lightly done. And then she wanted to see with what she'd look like with some different makeup looks. Now this program, Portrait Pro, is ideal for doing this sort of thing with your client, as you will see now as we carry on. Okay, so straight off the bat we're going to open up photoshop and then we're going to edit with the lightroom adjustment so any adjustments we've done in lightroom are going to be transferred over into photoshop and then from there we can do the edit from the extension plugin of oh where are we going of anthropics portrait pro you don't have to do it this way you can just go straight into the program and play with your heart's content but as i'm using photoshop as a plugin as well we will just go through the quick process as i would do it now don't forget guys some people are totally different if you've got three four hours every day to edit one picture at a time good luck to you i haven't i like to make my images or my edits as quick as possible and if my clients are happy i'm happy this sort of software is not going to be used for anyone who is editing for vogue magazine or you know high-end clients etc but for your average person who comes to see you you know we're not all high-end youtubers or photographers around the world so this is just ideal for the general public okay general public like 99% of us are okay so first off I'm just going to make sure this AI has caught all the points as it should and it's done a good job apart from those eyebrows that I just adjusted quickly myself I always like to start off with a blank palette here so anything that loads up with it on I always switch them off and then I start from scratch as you can see we've got a before and after picture and then let's go straight into it so first of all we've got some gloss on the lip that we would like to highlight a little bit more so i'm going to go into the lip area and then just quickly because that just caught me eye straight away so we're going to moisten those lips up just a little bit and then we'll add a little bit of saturation to those lips as well and then we're done in there Again, your process, you, you know, I, I've got my way of doing things. You're going to have your own way of doing things. This is how I do things anyway. So follow along with me. Okay, so we're just going to plump that top lip. Sorry, I should say the eyes are really wide on this girl, but we will just add a little bit more widening. We're not going to have to do anything with the eyelashes, as you can see. Big eyelashes already, so all good there. And uh, then we're just going to fix the face shape just a little bit. As you can see, we've got a little bit more. It's not, it's not even. So what we'll do is we'll just bring that over just a little bit. Just to straighten the face up. We could do that in Photoshop, but as we're in here, we might as well just stay in here and do it. This is going to be a really quick one today. Don't forget guys, you know, I mean, even if you don't like the video, just leave a little like or a comment. It does help my channel considerably. So appreciate that if you can do that for me. And then we're going to go with a little bit of mascara and then eyeliner as well. Make those eyes pop. Again, some of these things we will just do subtly or as required now I'm looking at this there and it's just not a little bit straight so if I bring this over we can adjust that to how it should sit let me just check that one and then there we go 
happy with that. Maybe just bring that one up just a little bit. To about there. Okay. Again, play with these um, pictures yourself. See what you think. And then um, as we go along, I will talk you through what else we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to add... No, we don't need to add line lid. We're just going to brighten the eyes up just a little bit. Not too much. Sharpen them as well. Again, just a little bit. We're just going to darken them pupils up a little bit as well. We don't need to add a catch light. Nothing like that needs to be done with this one. Okay, we've been in there. I'm just going to add a little bit of lipstick. Again, colour palette is, you know, you can just use any colour you want or you can think of. Whereas some other software, it's a shame really, but they just give you one colour and, well, two or three to choose from and that's it. But with this software, you're unlimited to what you can do. Now, where the magic happens with this software is when you come into the light and colouring section. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit of a modelling light. As you can see, it starts moulding the face. Now, we had the light probably about there so or you could have it more on one side again play to your heart's content about there we're just going to add a little bit of model into that like i just said left shadow right shadow we're going to make them eyes pop give them a little bit more of a smoky look Do the chin area just to sculpt the face and we're going to sculpt that nose just a little bit as well and again like i said this is going to be a quick one really and then what we're going to do is save that image we're back into photoshop it will do the adjustments what I'm going to do from here is just one of those shoulders is a little bit higher than the other. So I'm going to bring that down as well. I'm going to push this hair in just so it's a little bit more even on both sides. Now I could have used the software to remove these stray hairs, but we will do that in photoshop later on all i'm doing is just showing you the quick process for adjusting the model's face with portrait pro and i'm done super quick super simple the client will be happy finish off all the little imperfections again in photoshop but i'm just showing you the process for the portrait pro software probably i would just leave that to keep it a little bit more natural looking She's like she's had a little bit of a makeover and boom, we're done. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.